talk show personality Elizabeth Hasselbeck broke onto the scene as a competitor on season two of the CBS monster hit Survivor. Elizabeth Falarski, as she was called then, finished fourth and became a fan favorite. The next year, she married college sweetheart turned NFL quarterback Tim Hasselbeck, and in 2003, she joined The View as co-host after she was reportedly voted onto the show, Survivor Style, by Barbara Walters and the gang. By 2009, she proved to be a part of a winning ensemble when the ladies took home a daytime Emmy for top talk show. Elizabeth became the show's go-to mouthpiece for conservative opinions before jumping ship to Fox and Friends in 2013. Though undeniably successful, Elizabeth constantly confounds her colleagues and fans with her wildly contradictory positions on hot-button topics. Call her hypocritical or perhaps just prone to changing her mind, but there's plenty to make a case for this star's double life. Campaign Trail a proponent and defender of politically conservative policy on The View, Elizabeth frequently stuck up for former Republican vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin on the show. In late October 2008, Elizabeth even stepped away from the program to campaign for Palin, the running mate of Republican presidential candidate John McCain. Among her defenses of the former vice presidential candidate, she called critics of Palin's exorbitant wardrobe budget deliberately sexist and Palin thanked her for the support. But by the next campaign cycle, it was obvious Elizabeth's feelings for Palin had flipped. Mitt Romney was the Republican candidate in the 2012 election against incumbent President Barack Obama. And Palin had no official role in the drive for president, even though it seemed at times like she was running for something. Palin made her presence felt by embarking on a high-profile bus tour. Hasselbeck took issue with Palin's rallies on The View, complaining that the public wasn't getting to hear Romney's plans because Palin was dominating the discourse. The Hasselbeck-Palin friendship may have first pivoted when Elizabeth criticized Palin's tactics for fighting Obamacare in 2010, which included targeting congressional seats that Republicans would need to win to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Elizabeth's suggestion was that Palin's list endangered those listed upon it, but then when one of those names, Representative Gabby Giffords of Arizona, was among the 19 people shot in a rampage on the state's capitol in 2011, Elizabeth changed her tune. Right now, to even say that we have to curb what we're saying only links any rhetoric to what happened in Tucson. There's no link! Flip, meet flop. Same-sex marriage. On occasion, Elizabeth Hasselbeck has been known to show favoritism towards same-sex marriage rights. Do you think anything is killing heterosexual marriage? The only thing that's killing it is heterosexual marriage. But as Hasselbeck has been known to do, she's also flipped the script on the subject by showing support for California Proposition 8, which prohibited same-sex marriage. So you're saying you, you, you're, you're for gay marriage? I, look, or same-sex marriage? I, I'm not, I, I, for me it's not, for me, for me it's not a personal issue. Elizabeth's entire understanding of homosexuality came into doubt on The View in 2010 when she said that women were becoming lesbians later in life thanks to being left lonely by middle-aged men. I'll tell you what's happening. What All the it? older men are going for younger women, leaving the women with no one. You can't make this stuff up. Pro-choice Elizabeth supported the legality of abortion during a 2010 fancast interview, saying, quote, I also don't believe that the government should tell women what to do with their bodies, end quote. She noted that while she believes life begins at conception, she didn't think it was the place of the government to mandate reproductive rights. At the same time, Hasselbeck has also been known to throw shame shade on women who do have abortions. I am not saying that's an easy decision, and, and, but I no, think there are convenience-based abortions. <laughs> She's also openly criticized the availability of the morning after pill, calling it the same thing as birthing a baby and leaving it out in the street. Getting a case of whiplash yet? Dancing with the Snarks. An avid viewer of ABC's hit Dancing with the Stars, Elizabeth apparently saw something she didn't like about a string of performances by sports broadcaster Aaron Andrews in 2011 her next-to-nothing costumes. On The View, Elizabeth pointed out that Andrews had been a victim of stalking repeatedly in the past year, including the widely reported peephole video case, and suggested that the culprit could have achieved the same result by watching Andrews on TV. I mean, in some way, if I'm him, I'm like, man, I just could have waited 12 weeks <laughs> and seen this a little, a little bit less without the prison time. Needless to say, Andrews was none too thrilled about her comments. I thought it was a huge slap in the face to victims of stalking and sexual predators. And perhaps Elizabeth forgot that she, too, donned next to nothing while competing on Survivor in 2001 and that she reportedly attracted the attention of everybody on set. But it wasn't her apparent apparel hypocrisy that had Elizabeth walking back on her words. 
Hasselbeck's own daughter told her to apologize for hurting Andrew's feelings, so she did. I'm really sorry, and I wanted to offer that publicly. You might think that'd be the end of it, but it wasn't. Andrews later denied ever speaking with Elizabeth, so whatever apology she seemed to offer in public wasn't followed up with a private conversation to match. For Andrews' part, she's definitely moved on from the celeb tiff with Hasselbeck, and it's a new age for Elizabeth, too. She quit Fox and & Friends in 2015 to focus on her family, saying, I am, as I said, taking a new position as CBO, Chief Breakfast Officer, <laughs> at our house. But given how much she loves to shout her opinions and then change them around a bit, now Don't tell me what I can think and what I can't say. Would... We suspect she won't be gone for long. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.